Hi, I'm Ben Solomon. Before I commence this video, let me state that physics has brought us many economic and social benefits that our civilization could not have imagined prior to these physical discoveries. What we need to do, however, is to accelerate the rate of change of our physical theories to make gravity modification and interstellar travel a reality sooner rather than later. Fifteen years ago, I built an electrical circuit that could change its own weight. Please see an earlier blog posting. This led me to investigate gravity modification as a real physics and as a real technology. I told myself that if a hundred thousand of our brightest physicists around the world over the last hundred years could not solve the gravity modification problem using relativity, string or quantum theories, who was I to even try? I therefore inferred that if gravity modification was feasible, the problem therefore was not with our minds, it was with our tools or theories. Over the last 15 years, I developed my own modeling tools and solved the gravity modification problem with the discovery of nine fields and the new massless formula for gravitational acceleration, g is equal to tau c squared. It turns out that this formula is valid for both mechanical and electromagnetic accelerations, thus beating quantum theory to the unification of electromagnetic and gravitational accelerations. This suggests that a major rethink in our physical theories are on the horizon. Today, I found this article published in the Scientific American titled Supersymmetry, a Crisis in Physics, written by theoretical physicist Joseph Lecton of Fermilab and experimental particle physicist Mario Spiropoulou of Caltech and CERN's Large Hadron Collider. Wow, this was some article. You need to read it. Without getting into the particle physics, here are some pointers these two authors have stated as to why I believe physics will sooner or later undergo major upheavals. In order not to take things out of context, let me read to you the parts that caught my interest as a person who is interested in gravity modification and interstellar propulsion. In the section titled, The Need for Supersymmetry, I quote, they build models, the theoretical particle physicists, that explain why the standard model looks the way it does. String theory, for example, is one effort to get down to a deeper level of reality. Other examples abound. All these additional theories have a problem. Any theory, like string theory, that involves new physics new physics necessarily implies the existence of new hypothetical particles. What does this mean? It means that even physicists themselves are searching for new physics. And since they are steeped or schooled in particle physics, their search for the new physics is bounded by searching for new particles. Why not a different approach? Why not a non-particle based approach? Now let me read the second piece, the second part that caught my attention. In quantum theory, however, anything that is not strictly forbidden will in fact happen, at least occasionally. Electrons will not just interact with one another via the exchange of virtual particles. They will also interact with all other particles, including our new hypothetical particles suggested by extensions of the standard model. And these interactions could create problems unless, that is, we have something like supersymmetry. So what does this tell us? Let's back up a little bit. Quantum theory tells us that there are four forces, all handled by different types of particles. The strong force, the nuclear forces, the strong and the weak forces are handled by 
their own particles which particle physics has discovered. The other two forces are the electromagnetic force which handles how things collide, momentum exchange and so forth and the gravitational force. These two forces in quantum theory are handled by the virtual particle and the graviton. The virtual particle is called virtual particle because it doesn't exist in nature, has not been proven to be ex to exist, but it's a mathematical construct that happens to work. The graviton has not been discovered and my friends in that field would be upset for me, <laughs> for me saying this. But that means if we want to be picky about quantum theory, that means that quantum theory is valid for nuclear forces but does not have the empirical evidence to prove, to validate it as a working model for macro forces. Before I sign off, let me say this. What these physicists and engineers have done is an incredible piece of physics and technology. The algorithms required to detect particles, to make these engineering pieces of detectors come together and work, to be able to handle very high energies that were unthinkable a decade ago. All these and the mathematics that has gone into this development, all these are incredible pieces of work and they must be congratulated for their efforts and where they have come to. Superstring theory, according to the article, has taken 45 years to reach this point and now it, it's at crossroads. Will it die? My point is not that these people are wrong. My point is, can we figure out an alternative physics that is cheaper, faster, and better? Better meaning explain, explaining other things by taking a different path, a different path other than what quantum theory or string theory has proposed. And I believe the right answer is somewhere closer to relativity than to a particle-based theory.